probably clean this drawing up a little bit, make it just a touch clearer for you. But remove that red dot there. It's technically out to here somewhere is really where that's going to go to. So if I want to look at finding the length x here, what I can do is this. I can draw the radius of each circle out to the point of tangency. That has to be a right angle, and that has to be a right angle. What does that tell us about those two radii right now? If they're both perpendicular to the same line, they're parallel. We know that the length of this radius here is 0.6. And this radius here, the whole thing, is 0.9, because that's just half of the diameter for each. If I cut that across there, so that this is 0.6 here, I've created a rectangle. If I now connect their centers, this here is a right triangle. I know this length is how much? 0.3. And this length here is how much? 1.2, because we're given that down here. That's our center to center distance. With that information, I can find this length, which should be the same as length x, because they're opposite sides of the same rectangle. So how do I find that length x? That would be the square root of 1.2 squared minus 0.3 squared. We can't use any of our trig functions because we don't have any of our angles yet. Other than the 90 degrees, that doesn't help us much. So square root, 1.2 squared oops, minus 0.3 squared. 1.162 it looks like. Inches is x. Now that we have that, Now we can go ahead and look at, you know, the second thing we were asked to find was the area of the whole figure. And we can go off this being symmetrical. So if I find the area of this piece right here, I can just double it and count it for both sides. So right now I have this piece is a rectangle. Piece 1 is a rectangle that's 0.6 by 1.162. And I'm going to multiply it by 2 because that gives me the one up here as well. So 0.6 times 1.162 times 2, 1.394. That's inches squared. So again, that covers this piece and this piece up here. Now that I have the triangle here and here, so I've got the 1.162 times 0.3 is the height over here, divided by 2 and then times 2, because there's a second one, dividing by 2 because it's a triangle, times 2 because there's two of them. So in practice, I'm just going to do 1.162 times 0.3. I'm not going to divide by 2 because multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2 cancel out. So I get 0.349 inches squared. So those are two of my areas. I have two more to go. To find the area of this sector, I need to know that angle. The same over here. To find the area of this sector, I need to know that angle. To find those angles, I'm going to go off of this triangle right here. That triangle, we have discovered, is 
This is the 1.2, this is the 0.3, and this is the 1.162. Finding that angle there, actually it'd be more sense to find this angle right here. So let's find that angle. I'm going to label that. That's what I just lose. I'm going to label that angle, angle A. That's what I'm going to find here. So I'm going to look at the cosine of angle A. Remember, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. The reason I did that is the 0.3 is not, an, not a side we calculated. We calculated the 1.162. And remember, we always try to go back to our original information, given information when we can't. The 0.3 is something that, yeah, we did subtract the 0.9 from the, and the 0.6 to get 0.3, but it's not rounded. It's not a trig function that we used to calculate it, so we didn't have to round it. So we know 0.3 is a, an exact number. So we're going to do an inverse cosine because we're looking for the angle. Second cosine, 0.3 divided by 1.2. 75.52 degrees. Now that's this angle. If I double that, I get the whole angle there, which should be the same as this angle here. So times 2, I get 151.04. So this is 151.04 degrees. That makes this angle here 360 minus that. So 208.96 degrees. Now that I have those angles, I can find the area of each sector. So I'll start over here with this one. I'll call that piece three. Piece three is going to be the area of the circle, pi times the radius of 0.6 squared. What's that? What do you mean? The yeah. No, I said I didn't want to use this because I calculated that was rounded. The point three is an exact answer, so that's why I wanted to use that one. So the point six here is the radius, so that's a given piece. So I'm going to have pi times point six squared times 151.04 over 360 will give me the area of that sector. 3.14 times 0.6 squared is 151.04 divided by 360. 0.474 inches squared. Then the other one over here is going to be 0.9 squared, or pi times 0.9 squared. <clears throat> times that angle of 208.96 over 360. So 3.14 times 0.9 squared times 208.96 divided by 360. 1.47 I'm getting there. One point four seven six. So total area, excuse me, I'm going to add those all up. I get 3.693 inches squared is my total area. Any questions? So it was where the area 
That's the area of the whole thing. That whole piece. Yep, this first one here was finding these two rectangles. The second one here was finding those two triangles. And then of course... Oh yeah, they are. This is a full rectangle here. Where at? Up. Oh, here? Up. Right there? Up here? Right there. But those are drawn across there. That's actually part of That's connected. The original figure was this whole figure. Oh. Any questions on that one? Okay. The next one we're going to give you there's also loads of fun. Yep. Yeah, we'll do another one like that tomorrow. We might get another one done today if we get time. Oh, that's, yeah, Wednesday we'll do another one. Tomorrow I won't be here. This is just applications of trig. So here we have a half circle. We're going to give it a radius of 40 millimeters. We're going to give this out here a height of 10 millimeters. An aspect ratio of 1 to 6. And I'm going to tell you that this is a tangent. So I drew that a little off. That comes in at a tangent. So what that means is it, it, for every one unit it goes up, it goes over six. Yes. That line, yep. What I'm asking for is overall dimension there, X and the area. So if I connect that down to there, I know that's the right angle. I know that is 40 millimeters. You're saying like that? That'll work. That'll be a right angle. Well, we can find this slope here. An angle there, but the angle we can find there would actually be found like this. If I go across here, I can find that angle right there from that. That angle is going to be found because that's a one in six triangle. This would be one to six here. Does that make sense? Because that aspect ratio. This angle is going to be the inverse tangent of one over six. So 9.46 degrees.
Now remember, this angle here is 90 degrees because that's a vertical and horizontal. So that makes this whole angle here 99.46 degrees. So we now have three of the angles here. Guess what we know about this one? How did I know that that's 80.54? Magic? Yeah, this is a four-sided figure. Four-sided figure must have an angle sum of 360. So I have 90, 90, 99.46. What's left is 80.54. That's right here, yep. That's that one. So now the question is, how do I cut it up so that those angles are useful? And the answer is not as simple as it seems. If I had given you the distance x, it would be a lot easier. But for now, here's what I've got to do. I'm going to cut this down here. And with that cut, I'm going to find this dimension here I'm going to call little a. And this dimension here I'm going to call little b. I'm going to draw that triangle out here. So here's a, here's b. This is 40 millimeters. This is 80.56 degrees. 5'6 five, or 5'4? 5'4. I know that sine of the 80.54 equals b over 40. And I know that cosine of the 80.54 equals a over 40. This one right here. This one right here. So I'm going to cross multiply and divide sine of 80.54 times 40 divided by 1. All right, 39.456 is B. Over here, I'm going to cross multiply and divide cosine of 80.54 times 40 divided by 1. 6.574. Now that 39.456. I'm going to do this. I'm going to finish this cut across here. Bring that straight across. How big is this going to be? 10 millimeters, just this size. This then is going to be that 39.456 minus 10. So 29.456. So now... I can find in that tri this triangle right here, I can find this distance. So I'm going to redraw that triangle. This angle is 9.46 degrees. This is 29.456 millimeters. And I'm going to look for this down here. I'm going to call that D for now. I know that the tangent of the 9.46 degrees equals 29.456 over D. So I make this over 1. It's going to be 1 times 29.456. Divided by the tangent of 9.46 degrees. 
176.78 millimeters. So that being this side from here to here is also this dimension here. So 176.78. And of course, this piece here is 40, my radius. So x is just found by adding those up. I probably should have gone another digit on that. There, I'm going to drop the 4 off here to keep it consistent. So I'm getting 223.35 millimeters is distance x. Multiple dimension. So what that's saying is this distance right here is pretty huge. It's like 140. So that sticks out for those. Radius of the circle, yep. Now for area, this is pretty simple now that we've got it laid out this way. We've got a rectangle here that's 10 by 176.78. So that's going to be Triangle here, it's 29.456 by 176.78. So 29.456 by 176.78. It's a triangle, so we got to divide by 2. 2603.62. 2603.6, we're going to go. We've got a triangle here that's 39.456 on this side by 6.74 on that side. So 6.574 by 39.456 divided by 2 again because it is a triangle. 129.7. And this angle here is 99.46 degrees. How did I get that? One eighty minus the eighty point five four. So that is going to be found from the sector of a circle. So that's pi times forty squared would give me the whole circle. So three point one four times forty squared and then times that angle times 99.46 divided by 360 gives me 1388.0 we add those all up we get what 21 Nine, 18, 5. So 5,889.1 millimeters squared is the area of that whole figure. What do you think? Better than a sharp stick in the eye? Okay. Debatable. Okay, I don't want to show you anymore because I want to leave you with these two examples. And I want you guys to try to figure them out, um, talk with each other, work together. So I'm going to give you guys the last 22 minutes to work on these. I'm just going to hand you a worksheet with two problems on it.
Does the path to this out? Anybody else have the test from last Thursday to turn in? Or?